Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is MinuteMath, and today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting polynomials, and we're going to simplify each expression. So if I was given this polynomial, y to the third minus 7x to the fourth, y to the fourth, parentheses, plus a negative 10, x to the fourth, y to the third, plus 6y to the third plus 4, x to the fourth, y to the fourth, close my parentheses, minus parentheses, x to the fourth, y to the third, plus 6x to the fourth, y to the fourth. Okay? Well, what I'm going to do now is within each parentheses, can we simplify? No. But now I'm going to rewrite this, making all my subtractions be adding a negative, and I'm going to distribute this subtraction sign across. So the y to the third plus a negative 7x to the fourth, y to the fourth, plus a negative 10x to the fourth, y to the third, plus 6y to the third, plus 4x to the fourth, y to the fourth. Now let's go distribute this subtraction sign across, plus a negative x to the fourth, y to the third, then plus a negative again, plus a negative 6x to the 4th, y to the 4th. So now I'm going to put my like terms together, okay, in the highest degree first. I see x to the 4th, y to the 4th a few times, and that is my highest kind of, I would say, combination of highest degrees. So let's write the negative 7x to the 4th, y to the 4th here first. I put a dot underneath it showing that I brought it down, and this is important now to take your time. Nothing else to the 4th, nothing else to the 4th. Here, that one's to the 4th power, x to the 4th, y to the 4th. So we have 4x to the 4th, y to the 4th right there. Put a dot there. Don't see anything else. Don't see anything else. Oh, negative 6x to the 4th, y to the 4th. So we have plus a negative 6x to the 4th, y to the 4th right there. Boom. Next highest powers I see is x to the 4th, y to the 3rd. So the first one I see there is right here, that negative 10x to the 4th, y to the 3rd. Right there. Next, and then I see another one here, plus a negative x to the 4th, y to the 3rd. Then from there, I don't see anything else with combinations of x and y, so we just have y to the third and the y to the third, so let's bring them down. So let's put a y to the third here, and then this one here is 6 plus 6y to the third. There we have it. Let's go double check. We brought everything down. y to the third is right there. Negative 7x to the fourth, y to the fourth is right there. Negative 10x to the fourth, y to the third uh, is right there. Uh, 6y to the third is right there. 4x to the fourth, y to the fourth is right there. Negative x to the fourth, y to the third right there, and then negative 6x to the 4th, y to the 4th right there. Now we need to combine our like terms, okay? So let's go, these three here all share the same x to the 4th, y to the 3rd. So negative 7 plus 4 is a negative 3, okay? Negative 3 plus a negative 6 is a negative 9. So these come together to be a negative 9x to the 4th, y to the 4th, okay? Then I have uh, my other like terms. So we have negative 10x to the 4th, y to the 3rd, and the negative x to the 4th, y to the 3rd. That combines to be a negative 11x to the 4th, y to the 3rd. And then lastly here, we have just our y's left over. y to the 3rd plus 6y to the 3rd is 7y to the 3rd. And there we have it. We have our final answer, which is negative 9x to the 4th, y to the 4th, minus 11x to the 4th, y to the 3rd, plus 7y to the 3rd. So let's recap. We're given our three sets of parentheses. I first looked within each parenthesis to see if I could simplify. I could not. Then I made all my subtractions to be adding a negative. And in doing so, I also distributed the subtraction sign to both parts there, both terms. Then I rearranged, uh, using the commutative property, uh, all my terms and put my like terms together and my highest degrees first. Now it's tricky because we have multivariables here. But we have our added x to the fourth, y to the fourth first. Then I did x to the fourth, y to the thirds next. And then just my y to the thirds at the end. Okay? From there, I combined them, I simplified them, all right, negative 7 plus 4 plus negative 6 was a negative 9, so negative 9x to the 4th, y to the 4th, negative 10 plus negative 1 was negative 11, so we subtracted x to the, uh, 11x to the 4th, y to the 3rd, and lastly, 1 plus uh, 6 is 7, so we have plus a 7, y to the 3rd, which then gives me my final answer here, <laughs> nice and complicated final answer, but it's negative 9x to the 4th, uh, y to the 4th, minus 11x to the 3rd, y to the 3rd, plus 7y to the 3rd. 